Hi everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel where you get to have the opportunities to learn about detail engineering design. So on this channel, we talk extensively on various rotating equipment such as pumps, compressors, you know, gas turbines, steam turbines. So we look at this equipment from detail engineering perspective. At the same time, we also look at uh, mechanical design techniques for various static equipment such as your pressure vessels, your storage tanks, your heat exchangers, your columns, your air coolers and other various um, static equipment you can think of. So we say a very big thank you to all our subscribers and if this is the first time you are coming across this channel, please do well by clicking the subscribe button below, you know, and don't forget to, to click the bell button so that you can always get notifications whenever the, the tutorial sessions, the video sessions have been, have been uploaded on this channel. So please click the subscribe button if, you are the, if, you are, if this is the first time of coming across this channel and don't forget the bell button so that you can always get notifications of some of our um, uploaded videos. So I'm so excited today. Today we are going to be looking at um, a topic very important you know as far as pumping system is concerned we are going to be looking at mpsha calculations of a typical pumping system you know um on this channel we have looked at um, some different topics on the um, pumping system and one of the topic is the um, mpsha which is the net positive function head available um and at the same time we've looked at the mpshr you know the net positive function head required and we said the mpsha is your system characteristics and um, mpshr is the pump characteristic so if you are here to see this session please just go through the channel you will see um the previously uploaded sessions on this area of pumping system but today we are going to be looking at the various calculations based on different scenarios you know for obtaining mpsha for your system and um, we are going to move straight without wasting our time we are going to be looking at the first case which is the case where you have your centrifugal pump lifting water from an underground storage tank or from an underground reservoir and please don't forget the pump is located at sea level so you have your pump located at sea level but lifting water or lifting your process fluid from an underground storage tank when you have a case like this you will say you have a negative function system a negative function system is a is a is a system whereby you have your what you have your reservoir you have your storage tank you know below located below the pump center line so now to obtain the mpsha for this kind of system you will be given some parameters parameters such as the vapor pressure so in this case your process fluid is water and you have your pumping temperature to be given at as 32 degrees celsius so now the water vapor pressure at this pumping temperature is given to be what 0.4 meter you can check your own data sheet and find out your vapor pressure is expressed in kg per centimeter square to be able to put this to be able to utilize this vapor pressure in this expression of mpsha you will have to what to convert it to 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 meter now your water vapor pressure in this case has been given to be 0.4 meter and at the same time you are given your friction losses in the suction pipe to be what to be two meter friction losses is nothing but the energy loss due to friction in your suction pipe in our previously uploaded sessions we have also discussed about friction losses how to calculate friction losses friction losses is nothing but the sum of the fittings head loss and the straight run head loss in your suction pipe so in this case your friction losses in the suction pipe has been given to be two meter now to obtain your mpsha for this kind of system which is a negative suction system is going to be your ha your ha is the absolute pressure on the surface of the liquid in the supply tank which in this case is going to be your what atmospheric pressure now you convert that absolute pressure you know into meter you are going to obtain 10 meter minus don't forget i said minus hz hz is going to be the vertical distance between the surface of the liquid in the supply tank and the pump center line right 
so in this case you have your what you have your exit to be 2.5 meter okay minus your vapor pressure your vapor pressure has been given to be what to be 0.4 meter don't forget i mentioned if your vapor pressure is in kg per centimeter square before you make use of it in this expression you have to convert it to your what with to your meter with the aid of your what specific gravity all right then minus your friction losses which is the energy loss due to friction you know in your suction pipe and it is obtained by saying by 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 taking your straight run head loss and the fittings head loss so in this case we have been given the friction loss to be what to be two two meters so we are going to use it in this expression so your net positive suction head your net your mpsha which is the net positive suction head available is 5.1 meter you know as you don't want to be the engineer responsible for installing a pump that is uh, susceptible to cavitation so that is why it is very important for you to get your mpsh ready mpsha ready you know as owners engineers or as a purchaser you are going to submit this mpsha to your pump vendor so that by the time the pump vendor comes with their own mpshr you can now ch check the difference between the the value of your own mpsha don't forget we said it is your system characteristics so we check the, you check the, the difference between your mpsha and you check and the difference between your mpsha and the mpshr and see whether it is in line with what is stated you know as per api 610 right so in this case your mpsha is obtained to be what to be 5.1 5.1 meter now we look at another case which is case two now in this case what you have is you have your suction tank right located above the pump center line located above the pump center line when you have this you say your pump has a suction head so it is a positive suction system so how you are going to get your mpsha for this kind of system is different from the case one where you have your your suction tank located below the pump center line so now for this case you have been given your of course we are looking at a process fluid of to be water in this case and your pumping temperature is 15 degrees c so now the vapor pressure in this case has been at the pumping temperature is given to be 0 0.18 meter if, it, if your vapor pressure is in kg per centimeter square please you have to get it in meter with the use of your what with the use of your specific gravity the expression for that is in our previously uploaded session please just go through the previously uploaded sessions on the mpsha so that you can know how to cap, how to convert your kg per centimeter square into your meter now friction losses which is of course is the energy loss due to due to friction in your suction pipe in this case has been given to be what has been given to be 1.5 meter so the mpsha for this kind of system where you have a suction head a suction head means you have you have your 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 suction tank located above your pump center line so your mpsha for this positive suction system is going to be obtained with the expression of your ha don't forget i mentioned your ha is the absolute pressure on the surface of the liquid in your what in the supply tank so in this case it's still going to be your atmospheric pressure when you express that your atmospheric pressure in meters you will obtain you will, you will obtain it as your what as 10 meter plus your hz which is the vertical distance between the surface of the liquid between the surface of the liquid in your supply tank in this case to your what to the pump center line so in this case you have four so your suction head is your what is plus four minus your vapor pressure which is your 0 0.18 minus your what your friction losses in the suction pipe obtained to be what to be 1.5 so when you put these values together you have the mpsha for this positive suction system to be what to be 12.322 meter all right so now another case which is the case three is a case where you have your centrifugal pump drawing liquid from a closed suction vessel and that vessel is under vacuum all right you have your centrifugal pump drawing liquid from a closed suction vessel and with that vessel 
being under vacuum. Of course, the liquid vapor pressure at the pumping temperature in this case is given to be 0.6 kg per centimeter square. Don't forget what I told you. If you have your vapor pressure to be in this in this unit, you will have to get it in what in meter. All right. So you obtain your vapor pressure to be in meter, and of course, with your specific gravity 0.8, you can get your liquid vapor pressure to be 7.5 meter. And don't forget, we said the suction vessel is under vacuum of what? It's under vacuum of 450 millimeter of mercury. So the absolute pressure in the vessel is going to be your what? 735.5 minus that vacuum pressure 450 to get the absolute pressure in the vessel. So the absolute pressure in this vessel, in this case, will be 285.5 millimeter of mercury. All right. So now the next thing is you are going to get your what? That absolute pressure in meter. So with your 285.5 millimeter mercury, you multiply by 13.6 over 1,000, multiply your what? By your specific gravity of 0.8 to get the absolute pressure in this closed suction vessel. So with this expression, you have your absolute pressure to be 4.85 meter. So now the MPSHA for this kind of system will be your absolute pressure plus your HZ. Don't forget your HZ is that vertical distance. Vertical distance be, be you know vertical distance between the surface of the liquid in the supply tank and the pump center line. Right? So in this scenario you have your HZ to be what plus 8 because it's having a suction head. So minus your vapor pressure which is obtained to be 7.5 minus your friction loss which is the sum of the fittings head loss and the straight run head loss and is obtained to be 1.7 so when you put these values together you are going to have your mpsha for this system to be what 3.65 meter so this is how to get the mpsha for a scenario where you have a pump drawing liquid from a closed suction vessel under vacuum now lastly we have a condensate pump application so how do you obtain the mpsha mpsha value for a condensate pump application now in this case you have the pump you have your centrifugal pump you know drawing condensates from a condenser located above the pump center line and of course with your pump being at sea level so in this case you are going to have your absolute pressure to be equal to your vapor pressure right in the condenser so the the absolute pressure will be that your atmospheric pressure minus what you have as your what as your vacuum pressure in this case is 688 millimeter of mercury so the absolute pressure in this case will be 47.5 millimeter of mercury and then of course you get the absolute pressure to be in meter so with this expression 47.5 multiplied by your 13.6 over 1000 by the specific gravity in this case so therefore your mpsha will still be the absolute pressure don't forget the absolute pressure which is your atmospheric pressure minus the vacuum pressure obtained in meter now you put here plus because this is a suction head system now plus your 4.8 meter which is that vertical distance between your pump center line you know and the surface of the liquid in the supply tank so minus your vapor pressure of course in this case it's still going to be your 0 0.646 then minus your friction head loss which is the sum of the fittings head loss and the straight run head loss put this together your MPSHA for this kind of um, condensate pump application will be 3.6 meter. So these are the four cases we are going to be looking at today. And that will be the end of today's session. So if you are yet to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. And um, don't forget to also click the bell button so that you can always get notification whenever we upload uh, sessions on this on this channel so thank you very much bye see you another time